From 1895 to 1907, the family loaned almost $450 million to European governments, equivalent to $14 billion in today's money. Throughout the 19th century, they acquired a large portion of the property in London's Mayfair district. They are rumored to have a net worth of $2 trillion and an annual income of $390 billion. Their name is associated with various conspiracies, crimes, and funding wars. They are known to be the wealthiest family in the world. Perhaps no other name in history epitomizes the phrase rags to riches more than they do. They have amassed their wealth through successful banking and finance, strategic investments, and political connections. In addition, they have also engaged in philanthropy and established a prosperous future for future generations. Today, their interests cover various fields, including financial services, real estate, mining, energy, agriculture, winemaking, and nonprofits. Many examples of the family's rural architecture exist across Northwestern Europe. They own hundreds of luxury mansions and private jets. The Rothschild name is connected with immense wealth, power, and prestige. The Rothschilds are a unique family with vast riches over the last three centuries. During the 19th century, the Rothschild family possessed the most considerable private fortune in the world and modern world history. Join us on an intriguing exploration of the enigmatic Rothschild family, widely considered the wealthiest family in the world. This video will uncover the history, impact, and controversies surrounding the Rothschilds, examining the intricate dynamics that have contributed to their immense fortune. The Rothschild family is a wealthy Ashkenazi Jewish family that originated from Frankfurt and gained fame through Mayor Amschel Rothschild. Mayor Amschel Rothschild was a court factor to the German landgraves of Hesse Castle in the free city of Frankfurt, Holy Roman Empire, who established his banking business in the 1760s. Rothschild founded an international banking family through his five sons, who established companies in London, Paris, Frankfurt, Vienna, and Naples, which was different from most previous court factors. The family was raised to noble rank in the Holy Roman Empire and the United Kingdom. The family's documented history dates back to the 16th century in Frankfurt, and its name comes from the family house, Rothschild, built by Isaac L. Chanin Bacharach in Frankfurt in 1567. The Rothschild family business empire originated in the 1760s when Mayor Amschel Rothschild established a banking business in his hometown of Frankfurt. Mayor Rothschild was born in 1744 and grew up in the German Duchy of Hesse, in a ghetto in Frankfurt. During that time, the law required Jews to live in small, separate communities that were far from Christian areas. They were prohibited from leaving their villages on Christian holidays, Sundays, or at night. After his father's death, Mayer left the rabbinical school in Firth and pursued his passion for collecting and selling rare coins. He apprenticed at the firm of Wolf Jacob Oppenheimer, where he gained experience in international trade and credit provision to royalty, particularly in bullion. Mayer built a good relationship with Prince William and his antique sales, which he carried out through mail order, laid the foundation for the Rothschild fortune. Mayer was awarded the court agent title in 1769. In the era of the French Revolution, Mayer made a profit by supplying the Austrian army with coins from the British. He also recognized the potential for profits through industrialization and thus became a major importer of English textiles. Soon, he expanded his business operations both in England and around the globe. Mayor Rothschild, who served as a court Jew to the Landgraves of Hesse Castle in the free city of Frankfurt, was the first member of the Rothschild family to become a prominent banker. He established each of his five sons in Europe's major financial centers, with Amschel Mayer Rothschild in Frankfurt, Salomon Mayer Rothschild in Vienna, Nathan Mayer Rothschild in London, Kalman Mayer Rothschild in Naples, and the youngest Jacob Mayer Rothschild in Paris. By the end of the 18th century, the Rothschilds had already begun to accumulate a vast fortune. In the early 1800s, Jews were granted equal rights as citizens in German provinces, a process known as emancipation that commenced during the French Revolution but gained momentum due to Napoleon Bonaparte's conquests. However, the English family branch remained loyal to their country and assisted the British government in paying their allies. Out of the four Rothschilds who traveled abroad, the third son, Nathan, achieved the most success. 
Due to the widespread presence of Mayor Rothschild's children across Europe, Rothschild's enterprises became the earliest banks to cross borders successfully. Nathan played a significant role in the advancement of international finance. He later moved to London to become a banker and established N.M. Rothschild in 1810. The bank is still operational today with reported revenue of 2.97 billion euros and net income of 606 million euros in 2022. The bank manages assets worth 101.6 billion euros. Like other Rothschild banks, N. M. Rothschild & Sons provided credit to the British government during times of crisis. During the Napoleonic Wars, the bank managed and financed subsidies the government sent to its allies and lent funds to pay British troops. The bank almost single-handedly financed the war effort. The Rothschild family had branches in multiple European countries by the 19th century, which led to suspicions that they traded on inside information to pull off financial maneuvers. Sadly, the rampant anti-Semitism of those times contributed to the spread of falsehoods, including the myth that Nathan Rothschild witnessed the Battle of Waterloo and made a killing on the stock market by getting to London before everyone else, which is untrue. The World Wars had a significant impact on the Rothschild Empire. The costs of the wars were astronomical, leading to the creation of the International Monetary Fund, which made the Rothschild's international banking services obsolete. Additionally, Nazi Germany had seized all of the Austrian branch's wealth, dealing a significant blow to the family's fortune. There have been conspiracy theories about the Rothschild family for over 200 years. The main accusation made by theorists is that they manipulated and controlled both sides of every conflict, including the Napoleonic Wars, the American Civil War, the Franco-Prussian War, World War I, and World War II. According to these theories, the Rothschilds profit greatly from provoking nations into a cycle of endless warfare. The origin of these conspiracies can be traced back to Georges Dernvale, a propagandist in the mid-1800s who had his own anti-Semitic agenda. Despite their dubious origins, these conspiracy theories continue to circulate today. Mayer was worried that the family's wealth would be weakened as it expanded through marriages. Therefore, in his will, he prohibited female descendants from receiving any direct inheritance and, as a result, encouraged intermarriage. Four of his granddaughters married their male cousins, while one married her uncle. In modern times, the Rothschild family is so widespread that the idea of them acting as a unified political force is absurd. Their holdings and assets are similarly spread out. As we end our journey into the world of the Rothschilds, their story continues to be shrouded in mystery, with their wealth, power, and legacy being the central themes. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for fascinating insights into history's most intriguing tales. Stay tuned for more captivating stories, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, keep your curiosity alive.